So we're going to get started on the front cover. You are going to cut a piece of 65 pound black cardstock, eight and one half inches tall by five inches wide. Then you're gonna cut another piece of black cardstock, eight and a half by eight and a half inches, so a square. So this first piece that's five inches wide, you are going to go back to, remember we cut this from our envelope. We had these, I told you to save these two pieces right here. So you, you use this to make the top of the envelope closure and you had these two cutoffs left over. So you're gonna get these two cutoffs, this paper, and you are going to be putting this one up here and you're gonna be cutting it at four and seven eighths inches in this direction. And then this cut off, you are, let's see, probably going this way. And you're gonna cut this one off at four and seven eighths. So I'm gonna cut these at four and seven eighths and then I'm going to adhere these down. So I'll be right back. So pretend that's the blue snowflake paper. That's how your little cutout should be. So like this, so put this aside. So then now you're gonna get your eight and a half by eight and a half inch um, black cardstock. And you're going to get this paper from your A4. You are going to be cutting this at four inches from the left. So cut that four inches from the left all the way down. And you're going to save this cut off. So cut it off four inches and then save this cut off. Put this cut off aside. So here's our four inch strip. Pretend These are two inch strips each. But pretend that's your four inch cut off. So now you're going to cut this off at the bottom at eight inches, at eight inches. You're gonna cut it off from the top to bottom eight inches. And then you're gonna save this little strip. You're gonna have a little box strip here just in case you need it for something else. So save this little piece. And then with this four, four inch by eight inch strip, you're gonna cut it in half. So you're gonna have two, two strips, two inches by eight inches. Let's see if that's what I got, two inches by eight inches. So now you have your two inches by eight inch strips. So put that paper, which you have left over aside, you're going to put a strip here. So this is two inches by eight inches. So you have those, and you're going to put those down right there. So now you have this piece done. Then you're going to go back to this piece, find the center. I found the center here and the center here, and you're going to line that up, and you're going to adhere that down. So you have this piece made. So this is, remember, this bright pink is this paper. Make sure you got your birds going in the right direction. And then this craft cardstock is the blue snowflakes. So you got that. So put that aside. Now you're going to go to this paper. This is from the patterns. The only thing you should have cut out by now is this and this. This is what, no, I've used, which one did I use? I think I used this one and this one. But anyway, it, you've only cut down from here. You haven't cut up here. So you're going to get this paper and you're going to put it, here's those cards down here. So you've got, you, here's those cards down here. So you still have plenty of room to cover your album, pull your album, here's your album. You, What we're going to be doing is covering this album like this, with this green paper. 
all the way around. Here are those cards that you've cut out already. They're down here. So you're gonna put this down like this and you are going to cut this. This is eight and a half, so you're gonna cut this at eight and three eighths down here. Go all the way across, eight and three eighths, and then eight and three eighths here. Got that? Save this piece that you cut off because you're gonna be putting this on the spine. So this is gonna go on the spine. So get that cut and um, so you're going to have this piece. This is eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths. Before you put this green paper on the back, if you want to add your ribbon, you need to go ahead and measure up. This is eight and a half, so measure four and a quarter. And that's where you're going to be attaching your ribbon um, on the front and the back. So you can go ahead and attach your ribbon, get it down, use a piece of score tape, put your tape, put your ribbon over that score tape, and then you can use some black construction tape over that ribbon to hold it down to make sure it's secure. So if you want to put a ribbon, put your ribbon in now before you put your paper down. Once your ribbon's in, go ahead and apply that green eight and three eighths by eight and three eighths, like that. Now I'm not going to put this down because I want to use this album for something else. So you got this down. So I'm just going to pull this. <laughs> Once you have your green paper down, then you can bring this in. And you are just going to center it over that green paper like that. I use tape. You can use glue if you like. So you will have just that little bit of green reveal all the way around like that. So let me show you what it's going to look like. This has the shaker card on it, but here you have the green reveal all the way around. You have the blue paper here and here. So you have this blue strip of paper and then you have the bird paper here. You can see how the bird paper goes. Here, blue bird paper. So that's the way it should look. So it looks just like this, right? You're going to get your shaker card. Once you put that shaker card over it, it's going to cover up the, the part that doesn't have that blue paper. So this is uh, another shaker card I made using the tree, Christmas tree. So if you wanna use, make the, use this one, you can. I just like the other one. Originally, it was going to be like this. And if you like that better, you, you can make that shaker card. I just liked, I just thought that was too much blue going down. So you're going to put your shaker card. The shaker card is going to be centered um, left to right. And I just have, how much do I have on top? I just have a little bit of blue reveal at the top. It looks like a little more than an eighth of an inch. Three eighths of an inch showing up here. Down here I have... How much showing? About two and a quarter inch showing down here of the blue paper. So about 
three eighths of an inch and then two and a quarter down here. So it's going to be something like that. You just want a little bit of blue on top to frame the card and then the blue down here. We're going to be adding this strip down here on the bottom part of the blue. You are going to cut a, bat, a piece of black cardstock. Pretend this is black cardstock. Ooh, what did I say it was? One and one eighth. I think this is one and one eighth inches wide by seven and one eighth. So another piece of black cardstock, stock, seven and one eighth inches long by one and one eighth inches wide, black cardstock. That is going to be going down here. You are going to be covering this black cardstock with this wood grain paper. This is from the 12 by 12 or the eight by eight, doesn't matter which one. Just find a scrap that is um, seven inches long by one inch wide and put that strip down. So now you have this covered with the wood grain paper. Then what I did is I measured in a half an inch from each end and made two punches right here, equal distance from the top and bottom to put my brads in. So I put some brads in here. Let's see the brads. Opened them up on the back side and then just covered them with my black construction tape to make everything nice and smooth back here. And then I just centered this. I centered this top to bottom, side to side, and then I adhered that down. So go ahead and adhere this piece down once you have your brads in. So once you have your shaker card in, this piece down here in, you're going to go to this, you cut this off, so you should have all your alphabet down here. I just used the word know well on mine, but you can pick any anything that you have the letters for, you can um, put down here. All I did was cut out the squares of the letters I wanted and back them on black cardstock, and then centered them and put them down. And I ink the edges, but that's how mine looks, the Noel. So they're backed on black cardstock. They're kind of spaced evenly and centered. So, but if you don't want to use Noel, you want to use something else, you can make whatever words you can from here. And that's basically it for the front cover. So it should look something like this when you're done. So that's the front cover. So we have the front cover done. And with this green paper, you cut off this 12 by 12, so you cut off 8 and 3 eighths. So you should have this strip left over over on this side. And that's going to be about a 3 and a half inch strip, a little bit more than 3 and a half inch strip. So from this green paper that you cut off, we are going to use this to cover the spine and use another little stripe down here. So you're going to cut this green paper two and a half and you have the eight and three eighths. So you're going to put the two and a half on the spine 
you're going to ink the edges and you're going to put that down. So just line it up with the green paper here. You're going to have a, about a one inch strip or so. Mine is whatever's left over. I think mine was one and a quarter. But whatever's left over after you cut this piece, we're going to put it down on the back side over here on the back cover. But first, let's work on the spine. So you're going to get that green paper down, ink it, put it down. And what I did, uh, I got a, a piece of chipboard, one and five eighths by seven and a half inches, and we are going to wrap this chipboard. And you're going to be wrapping this chipboard with this paper. So this is from the 12 by 12 paper. It's this one. And you just are going to wrap it like you normally would wrap an album. Uh, so you just put it down, wrap it, wrap it. I just used like a half an inch all the way around and wrapped my piece of chipboard. And that, that wrapped piece of chipboard is going to be placed over here eventually. Let me show you what I did. And I I know I had a video of this, but I can't. I think I lost it. I don't know what I did. But here's my, my wrapped piece of chipboard right here. So this is just a regular wrapped piece of chipboard right here with that paper. I inked the edges all the way around. And then if you can see, I'll untie this. I made two holes. I just got uh, my hole punch and made two holes a half an inch down and just kind of put them like a quarter of an inch in between each other from the midline. So there's my two holes. So what I did, once this is wrapped, you're gonna measure down a half an inch Get your small, if you have this, the crocodile hole punch, I put mine um, in at half an inch and I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, let me just kind of eyeball my where I'm gonna put them. I measure, but for demonstration, I'm just gonna show you what I kinda did. So I went half an inch down and I set my marker here to half an inch. So half an inch, and I'm sure these are not going to be straight, but. So I made two half an inch marks. And then I just threaded some ribbon through those holes, the ribbon I used to, to close my My, my album, I just threaded it through on both sides and then I tied a bow. But you can use any ribbon you want. So thread the ribbon through those two holes. That's what I did here. I just threaded the ribbon through those two holes and I had enough that I could tie my bow. Then you would adhere this um, wrapped, wrapped piece of chipboard down, centered side to side, and I put it down, how far from the top? A little, um, where's my ruler? I put it half an inch down from the top and it's half an inch down from the bottom. So it's centered top to bottom. So it should look something like this. So got your wrapped piece of chipboard using this paper. With the leftover strip that I, you had from cutting off this piece, it's going to be about one and a half to one and a quarter inches. I used it down here. 
So I used it down here so we had a continuation of this paper. I cut this piece eight and three eighths by six inches. So you're gonna cut eight and three eighths by six inches and you're going to put this down. Ink the edges, get it lined up so it's straight. You're gonna put your little green strip and whatever you need down here, you're gonna fill it in with the rest of this paper, a little strip down here. This is all inked. The hardest part is getting this straight. So I, I have to draw my lines so I know where to put it so it's nice and straight all the way across. Then I can put this strip in straight and then this one in straight. Just make sure if you are putting in a ribbon, you already have your ribbon in here before you could put this paper down. So that is how the back of the cover book of the album looks like. And there's the spine with that wrapped chipboard over the green speckled paper and my ribbon. And like I said, you do not have to do this if you don't want to. So I think we finished the front cover, the spine, and the back cover.